the final update of Chapter 4 Season 3 just dropped and the apparatus looks different. You can see now it's got all sorts of purple rings around it. It's got cube-like hieroglyphics. It's even powered by kinetic ore. Leaks even show us the final stages of the apparatus's astral map, which of course shows what we think is an ice moon coming towards us, but more on that in a second. Sloan might have something to say about that. There's been a lot of new info on Sloan that's come out in this update, including the fact that she's been working around the clock investigating the rift gate and the apparatus with some newly built investigation camps. On top of that, the final mural down there in the ruins has been uncovered by Sloan herself, and you guessed it, this mural does appear to show some more moon phases, and so far everything sure seems to depict a moon. However, based on what Sloan has said in her recent quest files, it might not be for sure. But I am picking up something. A signal I've seen before. A very old signal. One I think I recognize. Analysis continues on the incoming signal. It's not a natural cosmic phenomenon. And it's coming our way. With intent. There's no way the people who left this place could have known about this eons ago. Unless it's happened before. She says whatever is coming towards us is coming towards us with intent and is not a natural cosmic phenomenon. She also mentions that whatever it is is transmitting a signal to her that is familiar, something that she has seen before. Lastly, Sloan suggests that whatever is going to happen has already happened at least one time. So I've seen a lot of theories being floated out there and probably the most popular one besides the ice moon is the fact that this could be the cube's cradle. A giant alien spaceship is definitely not a natural cosmic phenomenon, and Sloan is extremely familiar with it. Either way, whether it's the cube cradle or the ice moon, they both kind of fit that description of what Sloan is saying. They've both already happened before. The intent line is very interesting from that dialogue, though, because the cube's cradle as a spaceship could be piloted directly there, right? Like, that's very reasonable, and that would be intent. But the ice moon was frozen over, and we're not exactly sure how it might intentionally move over that way, right? That seems a lot less likely, but then again, when you go back and look at all the teasers and all the murals and all the stuff that we know, let alone the fact that the most likely thing that somebody would look through a telescope for would be a moon, you can't rule out all the obvious signs that have already happened, but at the same time, it could be the cube's cradle. With that said though, we do know that it's possible for the gravitational force of the island to pull in random objects. And who knows, maybe somebody was able to manipulate that in some way. Now, no, the rift gate in the sky has not been activated yet, and it appears that we are going to be the ones doing that ourselves in a quest, which is extremely cool. With only two weeks left in this season, I would imagine this astro map would appear very soon, and a really cool part about it is much like many previous events, we will actually be able to see the apparatus projecting said astro map in the live Island. It's almost go time. I'm super excited. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with this update and event, and we'll see you in the next one.